I really wish that, you know, in Canada and the U.S., we take the same initiative to set up the same kind of laws to protect independent bookstores. Pandemic and a racial awakening, changing reading habits, making independent bookstores the buzz for consumers, but they still have some stiff competition with online giants like Amazon. Some hope governments introduce the same kind of policies that have helped bookstores alike thrive internationally. Massey Books in Chinatown says sales boomed throughout the pandemic. Readers picked up health books. Then the murder of George Floyd and announcement of unmarked graves at residential schools had them looking for anti-racism titles. A really remarkable woman. Um, I Am Woman is one of her most iconic books. Uh, she's written, I think, like 16. An owner, Patricia Massey, points to protective laws in France that help sellers in a renewed era of reading. I really adore the fact that France set um, a minimum fixed price on new books. So you can't discount a new book more than 5% in France, which is brilliant. Setting the minimum shipping uh, charge on books is a really great idea because Amazon, as you know, has their own kind of delivery service. And so uh, they are able to ship out books for um, a penny or, or nothing. The Indigenous owned and operated store carries new titles. <laughs> to rare books and first editions behind this hidden door. And it says publishers could also do their part by giving them the same promotions they offer to larger stores. You know, publishers talking about how can we support independent bookstores? Well, it's quite simple. You just, you know, give us the same kind of discount or make it equal access as, you know, as a big chain as, as it is for an independent. While that may take some time, Massey says local support is already here. And people in Vancouver have really come out to support independent bookstores because they want to see them survive. In Vancouver, Crystal Ladaris, City News.